I'm both excited and nervous. Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. So you guys, I got the call today for, I'm sorry, not for, from my um, OBGYN and he went ahead and ordered the HSG test that I requested you guys because you guys, I had that surgery, right? I had the laparoscopic surgery, you know, everything that happened and then I've been taking the, the remedies that I was doing before to naturally unblock my tubes. I started them again and um yeah guys i called his office i requested for it because i really want to see is my tube fully open now like they said it was so um yeah guys i went ahead and set it up and it fell perfectly in line with when i finished my period so when i when radiology called me they said that they have to set this test up from seven to ten days um in your menstrual cycle so i had just got off my menstrual cycle yesterday so that was day six and then so today's Monday. So they're going to set it up on cycle day nine. So I feel perfectly in where they're supposed to do it. Now, is everybody's test like that? I don't know. All I know is that's how they're doing mine, guys. That's how they told me they had to do it. Unfortunately, my doctor is not going to do it. Um, it's going to be a radiologist. So yeah, guys, I am both excited and nervous and I don't know guys we'll just see what happened I've heard a lot of horror stories about it I've heard a lot of good things about it but I am really excited to get it going and just um, yeah guys start get this going already guys I know a lot of y'all have been asking me in my um, how to naturally unblock your fallopian tubes if I've had one done um, and I've been open and honest with you guys and I've told you I have not but I am gonna get one done and it's coming up soon guys it's literally this week so like I said I'm feeling really nervous but excited Anywho, guys, I just wanted to let y'all know that really quickly. Um, y'all know I'm going to take y'all on this entire journey with me. So I will make this in the next couple of days, you guys. Morning, guys. So today is the morning of my HCG test. And right now I'm actually eating some breakfast and having a cup of coffee. Um, because I took um, ibuprofen and I took a tramadol because I heard it's really painful. So anyways, guys, um, yeah, I'm going to eat real quick and then I'm going to head over there. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just got here right now to the radiology place. <clears throat> so the way that they're doing it over here, guys, is they're doing a self uh, check-in. So basically what they do is the morning of your appointment, they go ahead and text you some link and you click onto it. And from there you fill out all your information, confirm your appointment, pay what you need to pay, co-pays or whatever. Um, oh, that's one thing, guys. So my um the hsg with my insurance guys i have really good insurance but with the insurance it's going to be 439 okay and that was going to apply 100 percent to my deductible you guys were already in november hey guys sorry i don't know why my camera cut off on me <laughs> but anyways guys um we're already in november so um our insurance is about to renew and stuff like that in the new year so you guys honestly it really doesn't make sense for me to um to pay for it via insurance, have it applied to my deductible just because I'm already, we're already here towards the end of the year. Now, if it was the beginning of the year, I would definitely would have done it. Um, but anyways, so they told me, you know, or we could offer you a um, non-insured patient price. So I was like, okay, well, what's the price? And they're like, it's $230 for everything. And I was like, oh, okay, well, let me just go that route. And going that route, guys, you have to pay 100% upfront. Or you can do payments. Now, if you do payments, they break it down into different months, which actually you end up paying more. So I was like, now nah, I'm, I'm going to just pay it 100% up front. So um, anyways, guys, I just paid it. I'm sitting here waiting in the car. It's actually hot. Let me turn my car on. Um, I'm sitting here waiting in the car <clears throat> for them to call or text me to get down. And then, yeah, guys, we're going to get started. I'm feeling really, really nervous, guys. I'm really anxious. I don't think I'm, I'm, I feel nervous about the pain, yes, but I think I'm more nervous and anxious about the results. So I just been praying, guys. I really have been praying, just been praying hard. So we'll see what happens, guys. We'll see. Anyways, guys, I'm going to take y'all in there and get y'all as much footage as I can, and then I will talk to y'all after the procedure. and um, 
I'm just waiting for them to come get me right now. They just put me in a gown. I am so nervous. They said it's probably going to hurt a little bit more because I don't have my right tube. Hey guys. Okay, <clears throat> so I just got home, you guys, from having uh, my HSG test. You guys, I'm sorry. I think I'm getting sick. So the other day <clears throat> on Monday, I had a patient uh, who I was working up and she was super sick, you guys. She was coughing. She had her mask on. I had my mask on. But when I was checking her pressure, guys, and I had a bee up in her face, she would not stop coughing. And now I feel like I'm getting sick. And I'm like, I better not be catching COVID for the third time. I'm going to be so upset. Anyways, guys, so how did it go? You guys, okay. So what I experienced was, this is, I'm going to take y'all step by step with everything that happened. First off, guys, I apologize for not taking y'all in the actual room with me. I really, really wanted to, but the technician was like, no, honey, you need to leave your phone here. Um, because, you know, of all the imaging and stuff like that, they didn't want to have, like, the phone there. So I understood that. So I didn't get to get y'all the actual footage I wanted to get y'all, but let me at least share my experience. So, you guys, um, when, we went, when I went in there, they had me lay down flat on the table, and they took x-rays of just my abdominal area, right? <clears throat> When we were done doing that, and, I, and I'm undressed from the waist below. I have a little gown on, though. I still had my shirt on. So I go, um, to I scooch my butt all the way down, almost like you're going to have a pap smear. But instead of um, your ankles, instead of your ankles, instead of your heels being inside the little stirrups, you guys, they have the back of your knees in, like, these stirrups. So your feet are, like, your your legs are up high, guys. They're up high. Your spread eagle everyone's gonna see everything you guys so yeah guys it can be a little bit embarrassing but i was it wasn't they were really professional about it it was a female technician and a male doctor and they were real sweet guys they talked me through the whole thing before they even started and you know said if it hurts let us know we'll try to make you more comfortable yada yada so anyways guys i was laying back and um he puts in the the i can't remember the spec not the speculum the uh I can't remember what it's called, but when they do the pap smear and they put that thingy in there and they open it up like the jaws of life, um, he put that in there, opened it up, just felt like a pap smear. And then, you know, he clean, He was telling me, I'm going to clean off your cervix and he cleaned it up and everything. And then he was like, okay, I'm going to insert the little balloon to open my cervix up to dilate me. So when he was trying to do it, guys, he said my cervix was like this, right? She was nice and close. He said that every time he would get the balloon, that it was it was slipping away from him. Like, it just kept on moving. So, in my case, guys, would, and this might not be everybody's case, because he said he doesn't always have to do this. But for me, he had to, here was my cervix, he had to put a clamp here and a clamp here. And he held it in place. And then, with it being held in place, he was able to insert the balloon. And that's when he blew it up. So when he did that, guys, he talked me through the whole thing. Like, I'm inserting it. You're going to feel some cramping, which I did. It just felt, it was really light cramping. Now, when he blew up the balloon, guys, guys, it um, it hurt. It reminded me of when you go into labor. The pain is very similar when you start having labor pains and it just starts hurting. So that hurt. And it was just, it was still kind of mild. It was tolerable. It wasn't too bad. And then... um. I'm sorry, guys, I don't feel good. I feel like I'm getting sick. And then after that, he was like, okay, I got it in there. You know, um, go ahead and put your legs down. So I put my legs down. So at that point, I'm laying flat now, right? I already scooched my butt back and everything. I'm laying flat. And um, there's just like a tube kind of hanging out of me. And they take an x-ray. So he took an x-ray and then he had the screen right here and he was showing me. He was like, okay, this is, you know, this is that, this is this. And this little, you could see like a little string or something. He was like, this is the catheter. This is, you know, it's inside your uterus and I'm going to shoot the dye in this way. And he told me, he was like, okay, because you only have your left tube and not your right tube. He's like, the pain is going to be a little more intense because and when I shoot the dye in, instead of having it two exits, it only has one exit. So it's going to be a lot of pressure down there. So they gave me a heads up with that. And then they let me know when they started pumping the guy, the dye guys. I mean, guys, you guys, I can, I can tell our pain. I, I had took ibuprofen and stuff like that ahead of time. But guys, it is very painful. Um, it doesn't last more than five minutes, but it's extremely painful. 
and literally all I could do is just close my eyes, meditate, and just try to breathe and relax through the pain. And just, you know, they just did their thing. They were just pushing the die. And he was pushing it hard, he said. They were pushing the die and just snapping pictures, snapping pictures. And I was just laying back and relaxing. And then by the time I knew it, it was done. And he took everything out. And he was like, okay, you know, just lay here for a minute. Just relax. You might feel a little dizzy. So, and I, I kind of did feel a little dizzy after that. Just little. Not where I was going to pass out or anything. But I just felt a little dizzy. And so he showed me the the x-rays guy I mean the um the image the images and you guys thank gosh he said my left tube is completely open and he was really satisfied with what he what he saw and he said if we're trying to conceive this is the month to do it you guys this month or next month he said you know this is the time to do it cuz my tube is completely open so you guys I'm very excited and thank you for everyone who had prayed for me I was so nervous you guys and not so much about the pain. I mean, the pain too, but I was more nervous about the outcome of it all, you know. Because um, we've been through so much, you guys. And I just, you know, I was just like, I just want some good news, you know. So I'm glad we have good news. I'm excited. My family's excited. My significant other, he's so excited. So, yeah, guys, we can't wait to start making this baby. And um, we'll see what happens, guys. Like I, like I keep saying, it's all in God's hands. But I really feel like this is going to be it for us, guys. I'm, I'm really excited. And I can't wait. But yeah, you guys, thank y'all for coming along. And if y'all had an H HSG test before, comment below and let me know how was your experience. Was it horrible? Was it okay? Was it not too bad? I always get a bunch of mixed um, um, reviews on it. So I guess it kind of, you know, per person, it's, it's really different. But anywho, guys, y'all have a good day and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.